If you're an introvert, deep down, you know you want to become a better communicator. Deep down, you know you want to learn how to network. You want to learn how to adapt to certain scenarios where you could feel like you're part of a group or part of a social setting, right? And personally, I'm trying to learn how to communicate better. I'm trying to learn how to articulate my ideas better. I'm trying to learn how to network better. Deep down, I know I'm an introvert, but I always tell myself I'm not an introvert because I'm stubborn as fuck. I always tell myself that, hey, I'm an ambivert. I'm an outgoing person, but deep down, I know that I'm an introvert. I don't like to like label myself at all. But if you're an introvert and you know that it's difficult to socialize, it's difficult to have conversations with people, all you gotta know is you just need to put yourself out there. You need to practice. Here's a funny story. So yesterday I went to downtown Toronto. I had a job interview as a bartending position, right? For a bartending position. And I went in. It's the first time I ever went to the bar. It was hilarious because I was just so shook. Like I was in a fearful state because first time being in that whole environment. Another thing is like I don't have any certifications or anything like that. But they asked me to come in for an interview. The funny thing is, when I went to go in, interview the person, right? The manager of the bar. I literally got disqualified the first freaking 30 seconds. He's like, do you have these certifications? Oh, what experience do you have? I'm like, dude, I don't have any certifications. I only, I don't even have experience. But I just said, hey, I was bartending for my friend's place, you know? But he's like, since you don't have any certifications, we can't let you do this. I'm going to let you go right now. I'm like, okay, thanks for the interview. But deep down, I'm like, okay. I shook out the fearful state. I was more confident, yet I got disqualified. It was an experience. It was a lovely experience because it helped me to get out of my comfort zone. I experienced going to the bar for the first time. It wasn't a pleasant experience, but it was a experience that will help me to grow into a stronger individual who will help me to adapt to new scenarios or environments, right? Another one was, oh, here's the thing. I went to two different cafes, actually three, but I went to two cafes where I got coffee. And specifically, specifically for this cafe, I got a white hot chocolate with the espresso shot and with a couple other things, right? But mainly, it was a white hot chocolate with espresso shot. It was very nice. I'll put a picture up for all of you to see. But overall, I love the whole detailing of how the person made the drink. So I sat down. I was drinking my coffee. And then the next 20 minutes, I was just very interested. I wanted to go up to the owner of the cafe because I knew he was the owner of the cafe. And I asked him, hey, are you the owner of the cafe? He's like, yeah. I'm like, hey, can you tell me a little bit how you started this cafe business? Because I was very interested. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. I want to start my own cafe business in the next five to ten years, right? And he's like, no, I'm quite busy right now. Maybe another time. I'm like, hey, do you have time later on? He's like, no, I don't. And he proceeded to just go back to his phone. And I realized not a lot of people are willing to have organic conversations these days. And it's quite sad. But that was an experience where I just figured out, hey, I need to read the room better. And I need to learn how to approach conversations differently, right? It was kind of like he was closed off in a way. But I was just very interested in how he started his cafe business. And he was like, oh, it's not like he was passionate about coffee. It's a long story and all of that. And he's like, maybe another time. But I know deep down he wasn't willing to share his story, which is quite sad because like, if a customer asks you how you started it, you might as well talk about it. Even if you don't have that much time. Because it was already like 2 p.m. And I'm sure the cafe was going to run until like at least 6 to 8 p.m. But it is what it is. That was a learning experience for me too yesterday. Another thing is, here's another learning experience as an introvert. So I'm looking for a job, right? And I'm going to be completely honest. I've been job hunting for a good five to six months. And I still haven't landed a role. 
So yesterday, I was just handing him my resumes at places, and it was so out of my comfort zone. I was so uncomfortable. A lot of places were rejecting slash saying they weren't hiring at the moment. But I had in eight resumes. I had decent conversations with about three or four people, which is nice because it helps me to experience more of how to get out of my comfort zone when it comes to communicating with new people, as well as getting out of my, as well as engaging in different environments right, when it comes to socializing. Overall, I want to be honest, I just want to position myself with authority and value, right? I want to be someone who has lots of value in the future. So I know that all of this is going to help me to shape into the person I want to be in the future. It's developing my character. And as an introvert myself, I'm going to be completely honest. Things are going to take time. You might have to be going through the mud right now. And it's okay if you mess up. Just because you got to understand, this is just the beginning. And over time, you're going to get better if you keep practicing it. If you keep putting yourself out there. And another example is YouTube videos is another form of medium where I'm practicing how to communicate. I'm practicing my speaking skills. I'm learning how to master eye contact with camera so you guys could see that I'm talking to you. I'm speaking to you. Deep down, if you're an introvert or if you're someone who's struggling with socializing, if you're struggling with speaking in general, Practice as much as you can. Hop on calls with your friends. Go to new cafes. Go to new places. Speak to random people. Compliment people here and there. Start a conversation. Just spark a random conversation. Even if you mess up, it's okay. Because you're someone who's trying to have organic conversations. And not a lot of people are willing to have organic conversations these days. And it's quite frustrating and sad. There's no charisma from a lot of people these days. And I want to be more charismatic. And this is going to take time. Overall, just remember to take it easy and everything will be fine.